take care of yourself, take care of, you know, your mental health. It will work out in the end. It will pay off in the end. Keep doing it for you. Hey, if you made it over here, the universe definitely sent you. So shout out to us for coming together and cheers to the journey. Um, Y'all just wanted to get on here and do a self improvement, self growth check in with y'all as well as myself. Um, I've been trying to record this video for a couple days now. I This is my third time recording it. Um, originally, I, originally, I was doing it with EJ, so we recorded it twice. Um, I didn't like my hair the first time and then the second time I still didn't like my hair I had locks in my hair and I just did not like the hairstyle so the videos just kept coming out bad because I did not like how my hair looked but anyways this is still something that's very important for me to do a check-in about as you can see by the title grind mode something that's it should be my middle name I can't think of myself without grind mode like that is just something that is a part of me at this point but yeah I just wanted to talk about the just some of the negative effects that I've uh, been experiencing while being in just hustle mode grind mode you know work mode focus mode you know it is liberating to say you know I'm, I'm cutting everything off I'm just gonna focus on me I'm a focus on my goals and you know just discipline empowerment in saying that but I have noticed that there are some negative effects that come with it for an example I noticed that I'm having a hard time balancing um, you know work mode with and grind mode with enjoying myself with traveling with uh rewarding myself taking myself out to eat taking myself to get pampered um just you know things like that i've noticed that because i'm in grind mode and i'm always focused that when i do get the chance to treat myself I always, you know, feel guilty if I do go out or if I do spend money on myself or reward myself, I feel bad afterwards. Like, dang, I could have used this money for something else. It only lasted, this experience only lasted an hour or two. I could have used this money towards, you know, my future house that I want to um, own someday. I could have used this money for, you know, my car, my dream car. I could have used this money for, you know, paying off some of my student loans. Like I feel, even though it's a small amount of money, sometimes it's always, I could have used it for something else. I'm always beating myself up when I do reward myself. And that is a, something that I need to work on. <laughs> like I did, I need to work on that because it's it's getting out of hand. And like I said, what made me realize, like at first, I, I, I mean, I, I kind of noticed it, but I was like, well, that's just, you know, the devil trying to bring me down. That's, you know, my conscience trying to slow me down and um, no breaks. I don't need a break. I'm not where I am, you know, right now. So I don't need, you know, I don't need a reward right now. I need to, you know, I need to feel like I need a reward before I reward myself. And that's what I was telling myself for the longest time. And now, I mean, yes, but no, because I need to find a balance. It's okay to reward yourself. I need to, and I'm working on that. I'm working on telling myself that it's okay. <laughs> um, try to fit it into your schedule um, somehow, some way. And I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of thinking about it right now. I have not implemented any plans on, or ideas of how I'm going to reward myself or take myself out or budget it into my um, plans. I have not gotten that far yet. I'm just in the realizing it phase right now. I'm starting to see, you know, dang, I, you know, I'm, I'm exhausted. I haven't had a break. I haven't, it just feels like I'm, on go all the time I feel like I'm just on autopilot which is another point that I'm going to get into another negative effect it just feels like you know now I'm starting to feel bad and I'm starting to feel like I'm missing out on my life and that's another point that I'm going to get into so um let's just get get into it so 
Another negative effect for me that I've noticed is I do feel like I'm missing out on my life. Um, I feel like, you know, when I look back, I'm like, dang, I have not traveled a lot. I have not seen this beautiful world that the universe created, that God created. I have not, you know, treated myself to some restaurants that I wrote down or screenshotted, a, you know, a couple years ago. And I'm going through my phone and I'm seeing, oh, yeah, I wanted to try that place. Like, I haven't done that yet. I've been in Georgia for almost four three, four years now, and I haven't really explored Georgia. So I'm just like, dang, you've been, what, what have you, girl, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? Um, so even though being in grind mode is liberating, I'm, you know, crossing things out, I'm, you know, going, working towards my goals, all that good stuff. I do feel like I am missing out on my precious years, my young years, my 20s. I feel sad and sometimes I do, when I think about it too long or long enough, I start to get depressed like, dang, I'm, you know, I'm missing out, I'm getting old. I was going through an early midlife crisis a couple weeks ago as I was looking through my um, old pictures and stuff. I'm like, dang, like I'm getting old. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, and you don't have any like memories or like, I mean, I have memories, but not as many as much as I would like. Sometimes, like even then, I kind of will water it down. Like I said, I've noticed these things, but I will water it down and say, no, you'll get to that point eventually. And that's still the case. Like you're in grind mode right now. Like you're you, like you're working towards that so that you can do, you know, eat at your favorite restaurant to try new restaurants or travel for the rest of your life. But right now you got to work right now. You got to put the work in so that later you can do those things. So that's what I'm telling myself, but it does not defeat or, you know, cancel out the fact that I do still feel like I'm missing out. And I do still feel like there still needs to be a balance, even though that's true. Those are facts. Like you will, you'll get there. Alexis, you will get there. Um, it still does not make those, you know, negative experiences and thoughts go away. So, and like I was saying too, the, you know, feeling like I'm an auto on autopilot, feeling like I'm in the twilight zone and just doing the same type of thing every day, having discipline to, to get up and do the same thing every single day. Um, you know, incorporating new things to help me get there faster, but for the most part, discipline and doing the same task every day. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of discipline and a lot of missing out. And you cannot, you know, unfortunately, you're, you cannot do as much as, you know, you see other people doing right now, because right now you have a goal. And if you deviate from that goal, you, it might, I mean, you, you're still going to get there because of who you are. Like, I'm still going to get there, but it might take a little longer because you stop to do, you know, and that's what my brain tells me, which is why I don't do to reward myself. And, and while it's a good thing, it is also, you know, it can also be challenging to, to, you know, just my mental health. And, you know, I would strongly encourage you to reward yourself. Um, at least once a month, I'm telling myself that. I mean, I think you should reward yourself every two weeks, like once every other week, once a week if you can. But for me, baby steps, at least try to do it once a month. Don't, you're not gonna miss out. I mean, you're gonna miss out on, on, on things, but you shouldn't have to miss out on everything. You know, try a, re a new restaurant, travel, you know, once a year, try to do that. If you're one, if you're like me, if you're one of those people that is just constantly in grind mode, constantly hustling, you feel bad when you take a break, just try to budget it in at least once a year, at least. But yeah, y'all, those are just some of my thoughts on grind mode and just some of my struggles, challenges that I've experienced while being in grind mode and focused on my goals. Um, it does take a toll, like I said, on your mental health. Uh -huh. You know, you feel like you're in a crisis when you look back and you realize, oh my God, I have not done anything or I'm getting old or where the time go like it, but it will work out in the end. It will pay off in the end. Keep doing it for you. Just reward yourself. You deserve it. You only live once. Just take care of yourself. Take care of, you know, your mental health. You know, you deserve to be spoiled too. Your, your hard work deserves to be acknowledged too. And you know, you, you 
it's okay. Like it's not, it's not the end of the world. Just finding a healthy balance. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's all I have today. That's all I want to share with y'all. Keep grinding, keep hustling, stay focused on the goals. It'll be your time soon. Just keep, keep putting in the work. But yes, y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you did return to subscribers. Hey, y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks, guys. The best way to learn is by experience. Thank you.